get started. Go to File, New, Part, OK. Um, before you get started anywhere, be sure you click on this button here and make sure it's MMGS. Um, don't start with this. It needs to be in millimeters. So we're going to be sketching on the top plane. So go normal to it. Click on it. Um, make sure you turn it on. Click on it. You can sketch. We're going to be sketching a rectangle. So make sure you click down on this arrow and click center rectangle. Click on the middle. Make sure it's locked from the middle. If you messed up, always know that you can hit escape to get out of this tool or press on the button. And with the arrow tool, you can modify it however you want, or you can delete lines, or you can delete the whole thing by clicking, uh, selecting the whole thing and hitting delete. And make sure that the point is there. So we're going to go ahead and add dimensions. Dimension at the top. You only have to add two dimensions. The first dimension is 16. Second dimension here is 16. All right, so it should look something like that. But if you by any chance are messed up, you can double click on it and type in the number that you need. Uh, if you need to delete a dimension, you need to exit the tool, cl click on the button, select the dimension you want to delete, and then hit delete. Okay, so that's all good. So let's go to features, extrude. And we're going to extrude this by 10 millimeters. Blind. Let's check. So that should be the first shape. All right, the next step is that we're going to go ahead and sketch on this plane. So don't press this because this is editing the sketch that we just made. Make sure you click on it and click on sketch here. You have to be normal to it. So click on it again. I mean, you hit the space bar and then go normal to, which is right here. It should be somewhere like this. And then go ahead and drop four circles. Doesn't matter the location of them. They just need to be inside the box. Okay. Once you draw the four circles, go ahead and escape the tool. And hit escape. Click on smart dimensions. This is going to be four. All the circles will be four. The next step is to add a dimension. So right now, if I hit escape and I move these circles, they're not they're not constrained. They 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 will move. So we need to make sure that they're black. So in order for that to happen, you need to hit the dimension tool, click on the center to this edge. That's four. Center to this edge. And that's four. If I escape the tool and you can see how it doesn't move anymore, that's what we need for all the four all four circles. So let's go ahead and do that. So I messed up there, so just hit escape, go back to the tool. Okay. So we have all the dimensions. See how like I hit the escape tool and I move and it doesn't move. Once everything looks like this, go ahead and add a um if by any chance you messed up or add another circle, just make sure you go exit the tool and you can delete whatever you want, or you can uh select the number here and edit it. If in doubt, just delete it all and start over. Okay, so let's go ahead and add features. Features extruded. Um, um, right now, you don't see the extrusion, but there's an arrow, so just go ahead and rotate it. All right, and we're going to add two millimeters. Make sure this button is highlighted, it's checked. Make sure it's merged. If you don't see your circles, just click here and, and go ahead and add the contours. If you messed up, right click and clear selections and do it over again. You check. That's basically what your first part should look like. Now, the next step is to add a shell. So, if you get a features right here on the corner, it says shell. We're going to go ahead and add a shell of one milliliter. So, type in one. 
and then in this blue square click on it and then we're going to select this face that just means that it's going to delete this face and show preview so you get a little preview of it and hit check the shape should look something like this you see how we clicked on that face and delete this face so now instead of it being um, a solid so like this before it was a solid uh, now so before it was a solid now it's a shell you can kind of see what's happening here it's a got one millimeter shell and we deleted the face out from the bottom so it's basically what it looks like right now all right the last step is that we need to add another circle in the back that's where the other leg is going to snap into it so let's go ahead and click on the top plane hit sketch we need to go normal hit the space bar go normal to and see how the normal is on the top we want to be on the other side so hit normal again and see how it goes to the bottom all right so we're going to add two two circles in here make sure they're right where the the center of the square is and then add another one so that's what you need if you click make sure you just hit escape and then let's add a dimension this one will have a dimension of 5.4 and this one will have a dimension of 3.0, uh, 3.4. Cool. So let's rotate it. Features extrude. So it gives us a preview. All right. This time we want it to go up to this face. So if we just kind of eyeball it, it goes there. But we don't want to eyeball it. We make sure that it's correct. So go to blind here on the left. Go up to surf. I mean, go up to next. You see how it goes up to the next surface that's available. Make sure the merge result is there. If you don't see the preview, make sure that you go into contours here, click on it, and make sure you click on the space that's here in the middle. Okay, and then hit check. All right, and that's basically it. That's your first part. If you want to color it in, click on, on this button, this button, and then you'll see appearances. Click on the arrow, and then you can choose whatever material you want. Um, there's more materials than what you see here. Make sure you click on the arrow, and then you can choose one. Let's say I want a low gloss. So I scroll down and select the red. When you drag it over, you'll get some options. If you want the face, the extrusion, which is the first extrusion we, we did. Do you want the body, or do you want the whole part? I usually choose body. If you see, there's the body. If you want to change the color, go click on any surface, click on this little arrow, click on the red, and change any color you want. I want a bright red, check. If this finish is not what you want, just click on it, click here, click the X, and it'll delete it. I'm going to just undo that because I like the red. All right, then to save it, be sure you click on the disk or click in this arrow. Don't click save as, make sure you click save and save it as part four. Um, then your name and your first name, hit save. Um, and that should save it. How you know it's saved, you'll see your name up here. Um, if you modify anything, let's say you delete. If, if anything, just try to click the button again and save it. And that's basically it.